Okay, let's have a look at the uh, grey horse, which is Snow Dancer, who goes around in uh, the first of the day. And Jay D'Souza will ride Snow Dancer. D'Souza has ridden the horse to victory before, earlier this year, and hasn't been far away in recent starts. Draws barrier two and is coming off a last start fourth at Epo in soft going. So that is Snow Dancer, who goes around in the Hawthorne Handicap. That is race number one. Now the stable mates working together. That's Napoleon who goes around in uh, the first of the day. The other horse is Discreetly Red who looks a winning chance in uh, race number three. Of course, recent winners, Napoleon coming off a victory two starts ago. In fact, uh, made it successive wins. SN Shiva, who rode his first winner aboard the Gilding two months ago, has uh, jumped aboard Napoleon who draws the pole in race one. Discreetly Red has uh, drawn well in uh, barrier number three, a last start winner. So that's Napoleon and Discreetly Red working together. Lucky Enough is engaged in a race three on the program. Of course, broke its maiden tag three starts ago, back on the 15th of August. Has had the two runs in Class 4 company since then. Uh, was runner-up over 1,200 metres in Class 4 grade two starts ago and wasn't far away last start in the race won by Metagross. That was here at the last meeting. So Lucky Enough will be ridden by SN Shiva and it goes around in race three and will come out of barrier five. Frankly, my dear, is also engaged in the third event on the program, the Primrose Handicap, and looks a lightweight chance, has been running on uh, pretty well in recent outings, the most recent when finishing runner-up behind uh, King Power, and that was here at the last meeting, going back to the 26th of September, going down to uh, 45 points in the uh, rankings and uh, 52 kgs on its back with HS skill aboard, coming out of barrier seven, uh, that is, frankly, my dear, who goes around in race three. Last start winner, Big Bank. He's going for two in a row in the Primrose Handicap, and he has been racing very well uh, since the break. In fact, he has won uh, three times this year overall. P. Morgan retains the ride, coming off that 11th length of victory last time out and it was a very easy win. That was in soft going over the 1,400 metres. He's at the same track and distance this weekend, and he goes around in race number three. That is Big Bank, and he comes out of gate 11. Now let's have a look at uh, DiCaprio, who's had a few runs back in Class 5 company, now down to 28 points on the CRS. M. Yusri will take the ride. He draws the outside barrier, but has been out of the winner's circle for quite some time. Uh, recent form, perhaps a fraction below par, but can improve in the Sweet Pea Handicap, and that is race number four. The race over 1,200 metres and has won twice at the journey. So that is DiCaprio. He goes around in race four. Now Jumbo Star is engaged in the open maiden race. That is a race number five. And Jumbo Star is working up on the inside of Stablemate, which is triple one de Great, who goes around in uh, race number nine. So Jumbo Star, still a maiden after 25 starts and uh, will be ridden by SN Shiva, who will claim the uh, four kilos. So gets in well on the lightweight, does Jumbo Star, and has placed on five occasions. That's Jumbo Star working up on the inside of Triple One de Great. Also engaged in the maiden is Taoka Warrior. Coming up for start number five, has placed on two occasions. Uh, finishing third in successive starts uh, back in February and March of this year. Will be second up since the enforced break and will be ridden by P. Morgan, who does claim 
the uh, three kilos there on that Tayoka Warrior. So that is Tayoka Warrior who goes around in race five. Now, Standout also goes around in the, the open maiden, a stable mate of Tayoka Warrior. He's only had the two local starts, uh, was placed when resuming, and that was in Penang, going back to the 23rd of August, and last start was unplaced here at Ipo in soft going, but that was over the, the 1,000 metres. Coming up for start number 13, and Standout will be ridden by R. Reuven. He draws barrier seven in the Marigold Stakes. That is the Open Maiden Race, Race 5 on Saturday's program. Swiss Roll is also engaged in race number 5. He's had the eight starts to date, placed on the one occasion, and that was earlier this year. Has attracted some market support in the past, has Swiss Roll, and will be ridden by S. Saddam, striding out nicely there on the grass on Tuesday and Swiss Roll comes out of barrier three with Saddam in the saddle. So that is Swiss Roll. Alassimo engaged in a race number six there on uh, Saturday, the Snowdrop Handicap. Maybe a fraction short, the 1,000 metres. Uh, he is be better off over the 1,400 plus at this stage of his career. He was placed over the 1,200 last start in soft going. He's um, had a few runs back in class four grade with HS skill in the saddle. That is Alassimo. He draws a barrier at number four. His overall record reading at 63 starts for the seven wins and uh, 1,000 metres. Maybe a fraction short for him but he should be in the firing line. Maybe a, a rough chance for the trifecta. That is Alassimo. Now this is Lion Conqueror who goes around in a race six. He is a fast beginner and he draws barrier seven with S. Saddam in the saddle. A Lion Conqueror coming off a last start second over 1,400 metres. He was safely held in the race one by Big Bank that day and, uh, of course, finishing 11 lengths behind the eventual winner. But looking quite strong, back to the 1,000 metres and uh, will be in the firing line for a good portion of the journey. That is Lion Conqueror. He goes around in the Snowdrop Handicap. Now Lady Lakshmi goes around in the Snowdrop Handicap as well, has won twice in seven starts and is coming off an unlucky effort last start when uh, she missed uh, the kick and uh, raced wide throughout. That race was back in KL, so back to the home turf this weekend. Was a winner here at Epo over the 1,000 metres two runs ago. That was back in uh, mid-August and P. Mogan retains the ride. So that is Lady Lakshmi and she goes around in race six. Now, this is the recent winner. I speak of King Power, who was successful here over 1,200 metres uh, back on the 26th of September. Uh, it backed up a week later in KL and wasn't disgraced, uh, finishing fourth over the 1,100 metres there. SU Lim will take the ride as King Power returns to its home track on Saturday in race number seven. That is the Carnation Handicap over 1,000 metres. And his overall record reads at 23 starts for the three wins and four placings. That's King Power. Now, this horse has been in very good form since the enforced uh, break. I speak of Keen Dragon. He's had four runs this time in for two wins, including a last start victory over 1,400 metres, and that was in soft going. He's back to the 1,200 on this occasion, but his form over 1,200 metres is quite good also. He's won six times over the journey, and AM Izat will once again take the reins there with Keen Dragon. He looks a chance again in the Daisy Handicap. That's race number eight on the Saturday program, Keen Dragon.
Golden Rooster is on the downgrade. Back to Class 5 Company in the Daisy Handicap and will be ridden by uh, Zed Carreel. Has posted the one victory and that was back in January of this year, over 1,200 metres. He's had the four runs in Class 4. Hasn't been far away in those outings, but on the downgrade does look to be a very good chance of bouncing back on Saturday. Golden Rooster goes around in race eight and draws barrier six. Also engaged in the Daisy Handicap is Elaine Lover, who's coming off some very good form. Two wins, two placings from its last four outings. HS Skill retains the ride. And it's got a very good record uh, this year. Has Elaine Lover has been a rapid improver since making its debut last season. Has posted the two wins from 14 starts overall and was narrowly beaten by Field Force here on the 20th of September. Looking to go one better. Elaine Lover draws barrier seven in race eight. Now Empire Bay, another horse which has been in uh, very good form recently, posting a successive wins uh, three and two starts ago. That was, of course, in the space of a week uh, during the month of September. Last start finishing unplaced in Kale, and that was over 1,400 metres. Does look well suited returning to the home turf this weekend with SU Lim once again taking the ride. So that's Empire Bay. He's now at 11 years of age. He's posted 14 wins overall from 109 starts, Empire Bay goes around in race eight and draws barrier number nine. Now Quasar goes around in the last race on the program and will be ridden by Jay D'Souza. Of course Quasar coming off a win back in July. He's had the three runs uh, since then and hasn't been far away in those uh, outings all at Class 5 company. He draws barrier 10, Quasar. That's him on the inside. The outside horse is Polo Master, engaged earlier on in the day. And Quasar comes out of barrier 10 in the Daffodil Handicap. That's race number nine. Now Pearl King is on the downgrade in race number nine and will be ridden by P. Mogan. He's had the two runs here in Malaysia. He ran fourth when resuming in Penang. That was back in August and a last start finishing unplaced from a wide barrier. But that was back in class four company. That race won by King Power. But he's on the downgrade, Pearl King, and he goes around in race nine. Now, last start winner, Come Catch Me. That's him working up on the inside of Stablemate Asian Jet and Come Catch Me. Took a while to uh, finally break through uh, at start number 17, but was able to lead all the way and virtually dominate over the 1,000 metres in soft going. So if there's a wet track prevailing again there on Saturday, he does look a very good chance of going back to back despite the rise to 1,200 metres. Has been very consistent this year. That's Come Catch Me, who will be ridden by R. Reuven, and that's him working up on the outside of Asian Jet. Come Catch Me goes around in the Daffodil Handicap. That is the last race on the program.